I sent all the fonts out. <laughs> I wanted to take facing this way because if I take facing that way, they can see all of you guys and it's going to be posted on YouTube and tell us how you feel about that. So, uh, all right, today in fall prevention class, we're going to do fall prevention, um, talking about eye health and power in our muscles and balance. Um, and how that affects our risk for falling. And then we're going to do Tai Chi for half an hour. Okay, at the end. So if you guys can go ahead and turn and look at the screen, where we're going to talk about eye health and its role in fall prevention. So number one, you need to have your vision and eyeglass prescription checked annually. Um, those of you who have worn glasses for a long time, that's a no-brainer. Hopefully it's something that you do, even during COVID, we need to go in for those normal annual checkups. A lot of people have given those up since COVID, but we really do need to get, get back to those. Um, if you're just getting used to wearing glasses, I know like for me, I just need to have my reading glasses now. And uh, it's like, I'm not accustomed to having to have glasses to be able to see. So often I find I can't see something that I should be able to see because I don't have my glasses. So <laughs> um, make sure that you're getting those checked. Number two, treat eye diseases like cataracts, glaucoma, and macular degeneration before they get really bad, right? Don't wait until you can't see well to get those treated. Go in preventively and treat early. If you wear multifocal lenses, your perception of where your body is in space may be compromised. So you may know that. Um, so if you can talk to your eye care provider about um, uh, what they call progressives instead of the multifocal, you know, with the, the different, different levels, progressives are better for proprioception, your perception of where your body is in space. Number four, let your eyes adjust to directional changes while walking, especially in an environment with more hazards, such as a busy sidewalk. Do you remember when we did that, um, that practice of turning the head and then turning the body? Maybe we'll do that a little bit. That's what they're talking about. So turn, anchor the eyes, adjust, and then move the body instead of everything at the same time or the body before the eyes is not a good idea. And finally, increase the lighting around your home to avoid tripping, really important. Um, the other thing about eyes, something we've spoken about before, is in a mask, it's much harder to see what's happening down because you, you don't have the vision down. So be aware as you're walking around outside with the mask on that you're not gonna be able to see your feet and you're not gonna be able to see uh, trip hazards that normally we could see. So be sure to take care of that eye health um, as part of your fall prevention, okay? Any comment, questions on that? Experiences? It makes sense, right? Okay, now we're gonna move on to the role of power in fall prevention. So power is the um, strength of your muscles to move in a different direction. It doesn't have to be quickly, it can be slowly, but Standing up is power, okay? So today we're going to work on um, some power. So standing behind your chair to start with, and then we'll let you take the chair away if you want. I want, I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see me well. I want you to sit into your heels, put your weight in your heels, and squat down. The reason we ask you to put your weight in your heels is that feels better on your knees. Can you feel your quadriceps strong? And then power up through the floor. Do that three more times. Six. And power up. Now you obviously feel it in your legs, but you're also going to feel it in your back, your core, your glutes. going to step out to one side and squat down. Power up and take the feet together. And then the other side. 
a side and squat together. Step down, up, and center. Only using the chair when and if you need it. your weight in your heels so your knees feel better. I also like to talk about headlights on your tush. If you were to put headlights on your tush, you want the beams down. Feel that? Beams up would be here. Right down. And up. <coughs> Last one. Good. Relax. Shake it out. Okay. The next exercise I'd like everybody over to the right side of your chair. And we're going to do power lunge forward. So the outside leg, the right leg is gonna step forward, bend down, both knees. Come up and center, then same leg back. Step back, squat down, lift and center. Try to do it without the chair. You can see how this exercise is really good for fall prevention because we're moving our center of gravity to the front. Squat down. Also, using our touchstone, right? Touchstone is right here. Get balanced before you move. Big, big muscles in the thighs, big muscles in the trunk. Okay, ready? Outside leg, left leg. Squat down, lift up. The squat does not have to be very deep. Just bend your knees enough to engage the thighs. Shake it out. Okay, come around to your chair and sit down. Sit at the edge of the chair. Actually, it doesn't really have to be at the edge of the chair. It should be kind of halfway. Cross the arms. This is going to be just like the assessment that we did at the beginning of class. You're just going to stand up slowly and sit down slowly. If you have to use your hands, that's also okay. Ideally, we don't use our hands. Ready, power up, and lower down. Power up, and lower down. Two more. You can also use your breath for power. So an exhale gives you more power than an inhale. So everybody inhale, exhale, stand up. Feel how that helps you get up and lower down. Relax. Okay, if that was a little too challenging, you can always start with this. This is a good one for everybody. So quadriceps strength. Hands are down by the sides, only holding on if you feel the need. Lift the right knee. Lift, extend like you're putting your pedal to the metal. Center and down, other side. Feel that. Quad contract, just like you're doing a squat, but this way there's no pressure on the knees. Lift, out, in, and down, and lift, out, in. This time, lift the right leg, turn in, turn out with the knee. In and out. Two more. 
breathe, you'll feel your heart rate go up because big muscles are asking for big oxygen. Relax. Other side. Lift. Turn in and out. Four sets. Whoa. That's not what I'm doing. That's a serve. And relax. Let's do that full set again. So stand up. First, our lateral. Step out. Squat down with or without the chair. Your choice, right? Ready? Go. Step out. Squat down. Lift. Center. Out. Head lights down. Weight in the heels. Another thing to think about when you do squats like this, any kind of power, imagine a string pulling your head up even as the body goes down. That'll make your knees feel a little better. Keep going. Let's do two more sets right and left. You guys keep going. Let's get the hand up. We have a serve. Also notice that if you have pain on one side of the body and the joints, it's harder to balance on that side. So just adjust for that, still working the muscle through arthritis or any other kind of joint pain. Two more sets. Take it out. Other side. Outside leg. Here we go. Step down. Step down. Good. Anchoring with the eyes. Make sure your glasses are working. arms if you can. Sit nice and tall. Use your trunk and core, not just the legs. Use the breath. Power through the bottom of the feet into the floor to stand up. Ready, go. not have to be high. All you're looking for is that engagement in the quad. Okay, let's lift and turn and turn out. Four sets. Ready. Go. Rolling out. to stand up and you're going to go to the mirror. Don't worry about putting handprints on the mirror. It's fine. Go ahead and line up at the mirror. Okay. 
and go ahead and push those bags out of the way. Push them um, over to the corner. Watch me first. I'm going to stand maybe three feet away from the wall. I'm going to try to keep my body straight, and I'm going to lean into the wall, hands up to catch. At the last minute, I want you to send your foot forward. So I, you'll have to adjust how far away you are. Maybe you start in this position to see, and then you're going to step back. Lean, 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 catch yourself. Everybody understand? Okay. Ready? Lean, 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 catch yourself with your foot. So you catch yourself with your foot. Okay? So lean, 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 catch. Lean as far as you can, and then at the last minute, catch yourself with your foot and alternate feet. Got it? Good. So imagine that you're tripping, right? Good. Lean and catch. Alternating feet. Trust, it's a little bit of a trust ball, right? Two more. Last one. Good. Relax. Face me. Now we're going to do the same thing to the side. I want you to get a, maybe a little bit closer. I'm going to try to hold my body straight like a plank. I'm going to lean. Catch myself. Okay, that's power. Ready? Go. Lean. The last minute you catch yourself. Notice the strength in the same muscles that we did those squats with. Two more on this side. And then turn and do the other side. Lean. Everybody should be at their own pace. So you're going to catch yourself with your inside foot. <laughs> yes, exactly. You can see if your muscles are not strong, if you start tipping over in a fall, you're not going to be able to catch yourself. Three more. After three, relax. Good. Okay, come back to your chair. That's a good one to practice every day. Yeah, <laughs> right? <laughs> We feel that way. Okay. We're going to go back to eye health and focusing our eyes. Let's see, what did it say here? Let your eyes adjust to directional changes before your body moves. Okay? So, turn and look over your right shoulder and anchor the eyes on something. Grab hold of something. And turn to the front and grab hold of something with your eyes. Turn again, side, grab hold. Front, grab hold. Now the other way, left shoulder. Hold on to something with the eyes. And center. You may feel muscles in the eyes working there, that's good. Okay, now. Look over your right shoulder. Actually, before, before you do this, because you're going to have to see me. I'm going to turn, I'm going to anchor on, and then I'm going to turn the body. And then I'll do it to the front. 
Make it with the eyes and then turn the body. Okay? Ready? Go. Ready? And you feel ready to turn. Front. Turn. Left. Turn. Front. At your own pace now, alternating side. the upper front. Okay, now we're going to do that all the way around in a circle, moving at a quarter circle because that's all our head can go, right? So we're going to go this way, this way, always eyes first. Also, it shouldn't be getting dizzy when you do this. This is how professional athletes who spin don't get dizzy. It's called spotting. So you turn, hold, and then turn the body. To the back, turn the body. Now just a reminder of how important our eyes are. Take the feet out, hip distance apart. Anchor with the eyes. So look at something that's not going to move and balance. Now close your eyes. Open your eyes. If you can, come up on your toes. Eyes open. Try to balance. Close the eyes. <laughs> right? Okay, let's try that another way. Weight on your left foot. Put the heels on the shoelaces. The heel of the right foot. Say that backwards. <laughs> on your left foot, heel of the right foot up. Keep the foot flat on the floor. Balance. Close the eyes. See how important they are? <laughs> yeah. Use your eyes. Keep them healthy. When you're ready, switch sides. Using your eyes when you feel ready, if you feel ready, the chair's there for you. So hard to balance with eyes closed. questions about it? Why is it harder with your eyes closed? I, I think it, neurology, right? The connection with the brain. I think it has to do with the body knowing where it is in space. So I'm balanced because my eyes tell me this is that's up, this is down, you know, I know where I am. Yeah. When you close the eyes, that all goes away. And so it's, it, it's the brain. Oh. That's all I know. Somebody do some more research. <laughs> it's really interesting, isn't it? Is. it? Yeah, so interesting. Yeah. So the interest could happen while it's, while it's dark, that we're outside, that, or in, even right. in the house. Right, at nighttime. 
Yeah. Right? That's why the lights are so important. Mm -hmm. Right. I was just wondering the people who um, don't have vision. Right. What, uh, uh, if they develop a different sense in order to rebel. Exactly, Siri. Like, with practice, <coughs> does it get better? I don't know. I would imagine it probably does because our body's kind of shocked when we close our eyes. So like it, it doesn't quite know what to do. I would imagine that's part of the therapy for blindness mm -hmm. is figuring out where your body is and using sticks and things to, but I bet you do adjust a little bit, but I bet it's never quite as good. I don't know. We'll have to, I'll do some research before we see and tell you guys. Put your chairs away. We're going to do Tai Chi now. We are going to do Tai Chi facing this way, so it's going to be a little bit different for those of you who have been with me a lot. Go ahead and grab some water if you need. Yeah, speaking of fall prevention. Um, Let's just start with our feet together and eyes closed or open, however you've been not to paper. And I want you to bring awareness to the bottom of your feet. Feel the bottom of your feet connecting with the shoe, the floor, the sock, whatever it's touching. your breathing. Breathing in Tai Chi is natural but intentional. However you want to breathe but just notice your breath. Bring awareness to just below the belly button. That's your Dantian energy center. Visualize it as a bowl of swirling energy. Let's 
add some chi flow. So chi flow, arms are gonna come up and up, up and up, naturally. So movement should begin at the Dantian center in the trunk and end with the fingers. And in chi flow, it can be random movements, hands can move together or separate. Shifting your weight, keeping your feet firmly planted in the ground for a stance. Come to center. Good. Commencing form. Just the arms. Pull up. Elbows are down. Hands are pulling up out of molasses. Bring them back into the chest and sink the chi down. Speaking of the eyes, gaze out and try to connect with the hands and push down, looking at the back of the hands. Challenging your mask, so don't strain the eyes too much.
soft knees, roll through the foot. Shift your weight 70% in the front, 30 in the back, and then shift and reverse it. 70, 30. Make your knees feel good. Don't go farther than you need to. You may find that naturally you begin to go in almost a figure eight with the upper body. Or you can just shift forward and back. Just make your mind go. One more time. Shift to the back, hold it here. Now notice, this is a good fall prevention thing, you can't move a foot that's loaded, right? Your back foot is loaded, try to move it, right? <laughs> right, which foot naturally is going to move? The one that's not loaded, right? Which is how you walk naturally <laughs> on a good day. <laughs> Other side, bow step. Weights evenly distributed, loads on this leg so this leg can move. Shift. If you were here, what leg can you move? The back one. This one's loaded, right? Oh, yeah, move it, right? But this is ready to go. Shift back and forth. Relax your arms, let them just flow. Relax your shoulders.
of that is because when we're feeling anxious, right, we're looking all around like everything's overwhelming and, you know, so just like focus, <laughs> right? And so focusing on a really calming vision like that, it just really, really helps. So you can do that throughout your day, but then when you actually do the pose, it's very relaxing. Let's do it from the beginning. Feet together. I want you to be aware of flow, energy flow in the body and outside the body. Feel the bottom of your feet. Feel like a tree. Dantian energy center in the middle. Open the ears. the drum. So you're going to turn your palms and imagine it's a big bass drum in front of you and you're going to follow, trace the outside of that drum as low or as high as you want to stay. Circle with the arms and with the spine and the upper body over the drum. together. 
together, eyes closed. directly into over the drum on the same side. Hold it at the bottom. Yeah, just put them together. 